we're, in, we're also in another uh, church in, in Boston. There was about 2,000 people there. And uh, he, he says, okay, we'll all meditate for 10 minutes. He explained a simple method of meditation. And then he, he went within while he was meditating, and I could see those chakras coming out of the top of his head. And he went to the 10th inner plane. There were 10, like, funnels coming out of his head, one above another, and you could see the, the thousand petal lotus on the top of the funnel. And then when he was done, he says, okay, everybody can open their eyes. And, and he took his finger and he just went like this, indicating one person after another, one row after another in the church pews in the audience. And there wasn't a single person that wasn't gasping, going, oh my God, you know, freaking out, falling off the chairs, everything. It was, it was just amazing. And I was standing right on the inside of the row, about halfway up the aisles, and he come walking up the aisle on the way to the front lobby of the church. And he looked at me, and, and he just put his hands like this. He says, God bless you. And, and this gold egg just shot right out of his forehead. And it hit me in the forehead and literally physically threw me back into the pew I was standing in front of, like somebody had, had roughly shoved me backwards and threw me right off my feet. And I was just sitting there in a pew, like wasted out of my gourd and intoxication. It was just unbelievable. And, and about 15 minutes later, I got a grip on myself, and so I come walking up to the front lobby, and he was up there talking to this Indian man, and he looks at me, he says, what, you haven't got enough yet? And I grabbed this post that was between the floor and the ceiling like a pillar, you know, and it wham, hit me again. I'm like jerking all over the place and almost fell flat in my ass. And I was like twice as intoxicated now, and that lasted another half an hour almost. Then we got outside, and he got into the limousine, and the limousine driver was standing out back and like, say, here's the car, and he was standing over here behind the car and on the curb. Stand there in his tuxedo and everything, looking totally prim and proper, you know. I mean, it was, it was really very nice looking driver, you know, fit, you know, to drive a master, you know. And so the master sat down in the back seat of the limousine, and I seen all these cones just come out of his whole body from head to foot, like, like, like tissue paper that you would have wrapped around a bouquet of roses. And at the top of each cone was, was a lotus sticking out of it. And then it opened up into layers of lotuses, and he went into the 10th inner plane and, and just totally energized, sitting in the back seat of the car. And it was this wave after wave of this wild intoxication beyond anything you could even dream of, just coming out of him. And the limo driver, stand behind the limo, he, he got so, so flabbergasted with intoxication, he literally fell flat in his face without being able to put his hands out to help himself. And he was just lying on the street for about five minutes, unable to get off the street. <laughs> and finally, he managed to somehow get his senses about him, brushing himself off like this. And, and, he, and he, he was just shaking his head. He was going, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, I don't believe, oh, my God. And then he finally was able to control himself. <laughs> he got in the limousine and they drove away. It was just amazing. This guy was like a, a sea of radical intoxication. And I've seen people on ecstasy and ice and, and you know, anything like that. And, and it's like a, an ant on a sidewalk compared to somebody our size as far as the amount of energy that was coming out of this man. It was, it was just a phenomenon. That was amazing. <laughs> and he called that the intoxication of God, you know, the God intoxication. The intoxication of God. Yeah. And when you reach the 10th inner plane, you, you were just... Uh, in the wonder region, as they call it, and that's where the absolute intoxication occurred. <laughs> Excellent.